Hi guys, my name is Kobe Akins and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. Please, if today is your first time coming across this channel, don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell so that anytime I upload a new video, you'll be able to watch it. In today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to get an active PayPal account in Ghana that you can use to buy things online, that you can use to receive money online, that you can use to do you know, online stuffs. You know, PayPal has actually restricted Ghana from having an account. So many people don't actually have an active PayPal account to buy things online. And PayPal is also one of the major uh, payments uh, gateway that many people are using internationally to do online purchases. So today I want to help you to get an active PayPal account. You know, if you are interested, let's go straight to our video. So guys, to get the PayPal account in Ghana, you need to have at least an email address that PayPal will send you verification to be able to verify it. You also need to provide your personal details like your address. It could be your house address, your street address, any address that you have. And you also need to have an active phone number and then national ID. Your national ID can actually be your voter's card, your Ghana card, your driver's license or your passport. So if you have any of these, getting a PayPal account will be very easy for you. So if you are in, let's go. So guys, you will come to Google and you will search for PayPal. PayPal.com slash Lesotho. So you type in PayPal. dot com slash ls that is for the soto so you log in make sure you add the the lx because it's very important so you will come here and you will be given an option to create an account so here you are signing up for a paypal account guys as you can see we have um, two options for you to choose from we have a personal account and then you have a business account but I will recommend you create a business account because with a personal account, there are restrictions. You may not be able to receive money with your personal account online, but you can use it to make online purchases. You can buy things online, you know, you can shop around online with your PayPal account. But with a business account, there is no restriction. You can actually use it to receive payments. You can also you know send invoices you can also send money to others and then buy goods as well so you know it's help you to do anything that a business would have done you know if you have access to the account that's why the business account is very important but it helps you to receive your payment right in ghana here so guys let's sign up if you choose the business account let's sign up so here you'll be given an option to enter your email so I'm going to enter my email here. I'm going to enter my email here. So guys, you enter your email address and then you sign up. Here you'll be given an option to enter your password. So you create a strong password and then you sign up. So guys, you are supposed to use the uppercase and lowercase. What I did was I used the uppercase for all, so I was not able to log in. So I'm using the uppercase and lowercase to be able to create my accounts. So guys, I'm cool to go now. So here you are supposed to provide your details, your business details. So you have to enter your name here, your full name I have to go here. So here you enter your first name, your last name and then your business name and then your phone number you are actually going to use your Ghana phone number and then you enter your address details as I showed you earlier so let's do it here
So you can enter any business name. You may not necessarily need to have a registered business to do. You can put in any name here. And then here you choose your country code. Here you choose your country code so that you can enter. So I'm a Ghanaian, so I choose Ghana and I'm going to actually put my contact number here. And then here I'll enter my address. You don't need to enter your any second address. The one, the first one is okay. But if you have two addresses, like your house address, your street address, you can put them there. Your city is a crap, and then your country is Ghana. So you choose Ghana. And then you enter your boss number here so here you leave your the primary currency here should be Ghana at US dollars and then you click here to agree and sign up so here you choose your business type here you know there are many options like government entity non-profit organization public corporation private corporation partnership and then you have your corporation you have your sole proprietorship and then individual or sole proprietorship so i choose this one because my business is an individual business and then here you put in your business details like your product or services you provide so i do into digital goose so i choose digital goose here and then you have an option to put in your website link here but i'm going to leave that one because i'm optional so with this you come here to put in your date of birth so you select your date of birth and then your nationality you are a Ghanaian, so you have to come here and choose your nationality So every detail you can provide your Ghana details here you put in your Ghana card number or your voters ID number so I'm adding my voters ID number so here you leave this one like this and then you go so guys as you can see as you can see you have a PayPal account now. You have been able to create your PayPal account. Here I am in my PayPal dashboard. And as you can see here, this is your PayPal balance. So because it's a new account, there is no money here. And then here is where you see in the info about the monies you have received. You know, here and then the monies you've sent out, payments you made online and things. Here you can create, actually you can create an invoice for your clients here to make payment as well you can also you know here you can see the section for issue a refund request money and all the options are all here and then so now your account is created all you have to do is to confirm your email address so as you can see here people have sent you an email to confirm i have already created an account so i'm not really going to confirm this one I'm not going to confirm it so here what you are going to do is to now link your debit card or your credit card to PayPal to do that you come here you have two options here you can link a bank account or link a credit card now because you are a um, you are in Ghana you don't have uh, PayPal does it accept any bank in Ghana that you can link so you can only link a visa card to do that you click here and then here you provide your card details so here you can put in your card number here you can put in your visa card if it's a visa card or mastercard as you can see the options are here but i think we use visa card so or mastercard you can use any of them that you have and then you put in your expir expiration date and then your security code so on the card you see all details here 
and at the back of the card you'll see your secret code uh, sorry your security code at the back so with that one you can just link once you fill in this information you can actually link your account your visa card account with the, the paper meaning that anytime you receive somebody send you money you can actually withdraw it in your bank account in ghana now i want you to understand that it's not every visa card that people accept people accept only international visa cards and fortunately in ghana we have a lot international visa cards and one of the active ones that many people have used and recommend that i will also personally recommend because i'm i'm using it and it's working for me is uba africa the uba africa worked very well with paypal and you can use it to create your paypal account in ghana the process is simple as, it, as i said i show you how to link your accounts your visa card accounts with paypal so if you don't have the africa you can go to uba and you register and they will give you that card and it's no more than 50 ghana cities i believe so with that you can bring you can put in the details and link your account with paypal now paypal will send you a code to confirm that your account is active and also paypal is going to deduct two dollars from your account but that two dollars will be refund to you the moment they confirm that your account is active so please take note of that and then if you want to maybe you don't have the africa but you have a bank account in ghana you want to link bank accounts um i will do a video on how to get a u.s bank account that you can connect with your account here in ghana so what happened is that you can put in that account details here and then anytime you receive money in the account once you put in the bank details you receive the money in your account you can transfer it to your ghana bank accounts so if you want to know how to create a u.s bank account in ghana please comment in the comment section below and i will actually make a video on how to get u.s bank account in ghana that is active that you can use to do your online transaction so guys this is how the paypal account is created as you can see the process is so simple and easy now if you have followed all the instructions that i've shown you then i believe by now you have an active paypal account that you can use to withdraw and send money online so guys if you have any question if there is something you don't understand you can comment in the comment section and i will explain to you or you can even join my um my my the telegram account so i can show you detail detail how to get the account in ghana paypal account in ghana so guys if you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe to my channel to encourage me to make such videos for you more please it's a new channel so let help me to build it together we grow thank you see you again in my next video